Hey friends, today is the day finally we finish what has been by far the most challenging, difficult, and time-consuming project I've done to date. Today is the day we finish the Shire. And to put into words just how much of an emotional roller coaster this journey has been, Bilbo says it perfectly in this little snippet from our beloved book and films, The Lord of the Rings. Remember what Bilbo used to say? It's a dangerous business, Frodo. Going out your door, you step onto the road, and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing where you might be swept off to. All right, so as if making the Shire wasn't stressful and ridiculously difficult enough on its own, I decided to take it on while working on a set of realistically detailed 3D printable models to provide all of you a chance to affordably own some genuine, authentic, real terrain hobbies terrain. That's right, for the past four months, give or take, this has been in development and I'm excited to say we're extremely close to releasing a full Kickstarter for this terrain, which is just absolutely wild. For for this project, I repurposed that terrain and you'll be getting a detailed look at all of it throughout this video. Anything I 3D printed and painted for this Shire build has been either taken from or adapted from those files in this upcoming Kickstarter. And I've put all my skills into making this terrain as detailed and absolutely realistic as I could make it. All right, guys, this is the final installment of our massive Lord of the Rings Shire Wargaming board. We started off by designing these generic halfling homes, which we're repurposing as hobbit holes. We built the base. We put the lighting in, the lighting from Woodland Scenics, that system is absolutely incredible. So yeah, this is still in an incredibly basic state. I gotta paint all the hobbit holes. I gotta finish modeling some. They're not completely done being modeled yet. We gotta build them into the board. A ton of things to do yet. Oh, and this is a war gaming board. We need armies. I need an army. I need two armies. Ah, uh, I think I need to make a phone call. <laughs> hey, Lockie, how's it going, man? Hey, dude, what's up? Funny you should ask, just in the middle of my Shire build over here, it's, uh, it's coming. Wicked, dude. Yeah, so, uh, you interested in painting a couple armies for me? Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. How many do you need? Two armies, maybe 15 minis? No, no nothing too big. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Awesome. I gotta get started, so, uh, I gotta run here, but I'll talk soon. Good luck. All right, providing a bit of context here, Loki from Zorpazorp is an incredible channel centered on anything and everything wargaming, from building massive and beautiful terrain to some of the craziest high production battle reports on the web. Not to mention he's a massive Lord of the Rings wargaming buff, which is exactly why I knew he'd be the perfect guy for this job. And we've got a bottle of whiskey on the line for whoever gives the most crossover, so be sure to go over there, give him some love, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to go watch his video of his crazy experience painting me an army of hobbits. All right, so it is actually the next day. I got uh, a bit done uh, in the evening yesterday, but not as much as I would have liked, but uh, I'm just outside on my deck and man, it's smoky. I don't know if you can see how smoky that is out there. Smoky. That's the nice thing with painting. You can just kind of set up wherever. This morning I got this guy, this guy painted. Yeah. But there's that guy. All right, so this is where I'm at for now. I've got six holes done and I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. I'm actually not even fully done modeling all of these hobbit holes. I'm gonna do two more for this board and I'll be doing that tonight and tomorrow night in the evenings here. 
Uh, but for now, we got these done, and I want a break from painting. Okay, <clears throat> so we are going to be adding in the hobbit holes now, and the biggest challenge, I think, is going to be the lighting that we've got here. So I've got two types of lights, and these are the Woodland Scenics just plug system that we're using, and uh, we've got a wall mount light, and then just a general interior light with a sticky back. Fingers crossed, I'm still nervous. I know I could easily like wreck everything. It happens. I've wrecked stuff before, and it's still possible. <laughs> but uh, at least I think it's looking pretty promising seeing these guys painted up. I'm pretty excited. So yeah, let's do it. All right, so it's time to take a quick second here to thank this video's sponsor, and for that matter, this entire project's sponsor, and that is Woodland Scenics. Now, Woodland Scenics have supplied all the Scenics materials for this project. Everything from the static grass, to the flocking, the wide variety of grass and flower tufts, glues, water effects, trees, rocks, the base material for the structure, as well as the entire amazing lighting system. Now, a lot of these materials aren't going to be covered in this video. If you haven't checked the other videos, go check those out and see exactly how great and amazing the products have been to work with. And yeah, as you'll see, the products absolutely speak for themselves. So make sure you guys go see what Woodland Scenics has to offer by checking out the link in the description box below. All right, so we got this guy printed up. He's all cleaned and ready to go. That's this guy here. Let's put some light on him. So I modeled this guy uh, in about a day and a half, almost two days. It took about a day to model and then another solid day of just making it kind of printer friendly. This is going to be broken up into three parts. This guy fits on my big printer. I just printed it off in one. But all these I'm going to make them so that uh, they can be printed off on just the small uh, consumer sized resin printers. Obviously you can do these on F FDM printers as well. So yeah, I got to get these last three painted up here. These last three hobbit holes. It's Friday morning. I want everything done by Sunday and there's a lot to do. So I'm really going to be working steady here to get stuff done. It's going to be crunch time. So we'll see, see what happens uh, because this needs to get done. Okay, uh, so painting I think is finally done. I got pretty much everything on here. I might still have yet to model some uh, fences or I'll just make them. I haven't decide, decided if I'm gonna do, uh, model them out and we can include them in the Kickstarter or just make them out of sticks like I normally do. But anyway, here's where we are. I got the rest of the hobbit holes done for this board and then a bunch of windows. Actually, these windows are going to be sitting on like the sides of the holes. And so they'll really expand kind of the hobbit hole itself and then pumpkins 
chimneys and this little beauty right here which is my water well and i don't know what it is but for like fantasy terrain fantasy settings it's like the well you got to have the well and it just really kind of takes you there and i put a lot of work into this little guy it's just a tiny little piece of terrain but i really like it and i'm really proud of how it turned out the details are really good on there uh, yeah it's just so cool having all these things in front of me in my hands that i made digitally and then printed out so anyway if you're not following me on instagram make sure you go do that because i'm taking pictures of all these really nice detailed pictures as i go i've been doing it as i go and uh, it's a great way for you to keep on top of the projects in between videos so if you could follow me on instagram i'd really appreciate it my numbers i need to build up my numbers there if you want to help me to do that do that but anyway i'm going to clean this up we're going to get this onto the final board so yeah let's do it So we are moving on to Bilbo's house finally. What I want to do with his, he's got this big, I don't know if this is called a bay window, but a big window in the front. So for me personally, it's going to be worthwhile to put an interior in there. So we got to do this for Bilbo. This is Bilbo's house. This is the piece de resistance. This is the big, uh, I can't do French. This is, this is the big focal point. Focal point and Bilbo's house has to be looking amazing. So that's what I'm going to do. with the main uh, garden right here. I've got this bit of vine here for these pumpkins. I was planning on maybe making my own, uh, but I salvaged this from an old project and it just works such so well as uh, vines for pumpkins. So that's what I'm gonna use there. And I'm gonna be using some peat moss and some more grout and stuff. We're gonna get some rows in there. I'm gonna use some uh, woodland scenic tufts as well and really dress this garden up. I also make it a pretty playable too. We'll have some pathways and things for um, units to get across. And yeah, so that's where we're gonna start.
Okay, so find or what is this coarse turf and the extra coarse? I think this is like bushes. So good, man. This is really finishing off the board nicely. This coarse turf or fine, yeah, coarse turf is feels like little weeds kind of everywhere that you would naturally see out in the prairies. Loving these. Now I get to use these, which I'm super excited for. When I saw these painted rocks, fully painted, don't have to do the molds or anything like that myself. These are already painted. So if you want to save yourself some steps, you can just get the painted rocks or you could do the, um, uh, the rubber mold. Here are some rubber molds with plaster and you can make the rocks and paint them yourselves if you want to. But these are going to save me a lot of time. So I'm excited. Yeah, excited for that. usual my favorite part of the build is doing the water effects and we've got a lot of woodland scenic water effects we'll get into those uh in a second here but uh we got or we need a water mill here obviously uh for the shire for hobbiton there's a water mill and um i don't have my own so on the kickstarter i plan on doing a water mill as a stretch goal a full building a full water mill so really excited for that i hope that stretch goal gets met uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to be using a tabletop world building. It's just one of these cottages uh, from tabletop world. Super nice and crazy detailed. And I'm going to be modeling the water wheel itself. But I'm going to build a little dock. This is going to sit kind of on the wooden dock here. And I think it's going to look pretty, pretty awesome. We're almost there. All right, let's do it. Honestly, so excited for these trees. It's just so nice to have something that is already done, already made for you. 
Uh, it just speeds up the whole process and make a world of difference with very little, little effort, which is kind of nice sometimes. All right, almost done. We've got one thing left to do. I think you know what it is, but first I just cannot believe I am looking at this board completely finished. That's crazy, crazy. This has been, as I said at the start, an emotional roller coaster. It's uh, been a very tough year for me and my family. Uh, we've had some heavy, heavy health issues in the home, uh, specifically with my wife. And I've been holding down the fort, looking after her, looking after the kids, looking after meals, laundry, everything. And uh, it's been tough. It's been a very tough year. And uh, I just want to give Woodland Th Scenics a very heavy, hearty thank you for being such amazing people to work with. Uh, they've been very, very good through all this, very understanding. There's been many delays and they've been so good with all of that. They know the situation. And it's a big, huge thank you to Woodland Scenics for that. Not only do they make amazing products, go, go support them. Uh, their products speak for themselves, absolutely incredible, but they are also very, very good people. And I just wanted to say that. Big thank you to Woodland Scenics for everything. Um, now, back to a happier note. <laughs> I did say there's one more thing to do, and that is to open up this box from Australia. And I think you guys know what is in here. And uh, man, I, 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 I gotta say, I've already taken a peek and these are absolutely gorgeous. Lockheed has said this has been, this, this is the best painted army he's ever done. The best painted minis he's ever done. And he's not exaggerating. These are so beautiful so amazing it is a sad moment for him to let go of them uh, i did pay for the minis i bought all the minis but he painted these up completely for free and man that is just amazing thank you so much Lockie. be sure to go watch his battle it was a battle and a struggle to get these guys painted hey guys Lockie here from zorba Zorb. how good is neil's epic shire build cannot wait to see that in the flesh if you want to check out my hobbits and ruffians go on over to my video link down in the description and you know it was it was all it was all smooth sailing really not not a complete speed painting train wreck or anything <laughs> man these are just so good Lockie so good and again we got that wager whoever get the, has the bigger crossover the more people i send to Lockie, he's gonna buy me the whiskey the more people i get he gets the whiskey i gotta pay for that so let's let's win this go over to Lockie's channel subscribe watch his video and uh then he can send me a whiskey which is perfect anyway that's that and yes the other thing, Kickstarter, so close to being done. It's gonna be within the month here. We're gonna be launching the Kickstarter. If you're interested in uh, getting some email updates on that, we're gonna start sending out updates. But yeah, this is a set of terrain you do not wanna miss out on. I put absolutely all I could into making these as detailed and realistic as possible for your 3D printer, for the resin 3D printers to get the absolute crispiest details out of these. No layer lines super fine wood grain and stone texture and everything we have stretch goals to make full buildings so sign up for that email let me know you're interested and you'll be getting those updates but once a week here for the next two three four weeks somewhere in there and then we're gonna launch this sucker and it's going to be good. You don't want to miss out on that. A big thank you to all my patrons. You guys are absolutely incredible. You've been with me through uh, my struggles at home here. Really appreciate you sticking around, standing by, despite the delays and things like this. It's been meant so much to me and I'm so appreciative of you guys. And uh, if you want to support the channel and help this grow, go sign up on Patreon and become a, a member there. And it would just mean so much to me. So. Thanks guys. Wow. Big journey. Another one down. Now it's on to the next one. We'll see you later.